for like two years and anybody that knows what it's like to be stuck with a house that you don't live in. First of all, it's very fortunate to be in that position. Right? <laughs> very lucky. But at the same time, I wasn't feeling lucky when I was writing those mortgage checks. And these two poems are set in the backyard of that house that we sold today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I should be like, you know, I should be like the running man or something. I finally got rid of this house, but we could not afford to keep anymore. <laughs> so they're both named after Exentes, Jimmy Beats. And I'm going to read, there's three of them, but I'm going to just read number one and number three because they take place in our own backyard. And they're about my daughter. Jimmy Beats, number one. And I apologize in advance if there's snow in it because I'm pretty sure if you're from here, you know, it's okay, it's imaginary snow. Maybe <laughs> it's not okay. That was the week it didn't stop snowing. That was the week five fingered trees fell on houses and power lines broke like somebody waiting for payday in a snowstorm. That snow week, my daughter and I trudged over broken branches, fidgeting through the snow like hungry fingers fidget through empty pockets. Over the termite hollowed stump as squat as a flat tire. Over the hollow the fox dives into when we open the back door at night. That was the week of snow and it glittered like every Christmas card we could remember while my daughter poked around for a place to stand a snowman. One with a pine cone nose, one with thumb pressed eyes to see the whole picture once things warm up. Number three. This sunlight on snow, this decrescendo of covered stumps and brush, stop for it. Stop before the sled ends over ends down the chin of the hill the way it always will, two thirds of the way down. Stop and shiver in it. The ring of snow inside gloves, the cusp of red forehead, like a hill just waiting to be topped by the sun. Every ill-built snowball waiting to be thrown, every bell-shaped angel stamped over the brown leaves. When my daughter ranges in our backyard, she works every dazzling angel. The crestfallen pine cones, the grizzled beards of bushes in the morning, a furnace's wind up huffing and the throat clearing of snow. I almost changed that to that other dude's backyard. <laughs> 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 I 